everyone plays all the time. Um, sometimes we play without even really meaning it. We play at work uh, between projects. We play between meetings. We play um, you know, while we're waiting for other people. And I think a lot of times we forget that we're not doing that just to pass the time. We're doing that because it's a deeply ingrained part of who we are as, as human beings. And so I hope that when people leave this course, they will have had a chance to spend some time thinking about why play matters to the world, um, why it matters to industries, uh, and why it matters to each person in the class. I think that one of the things that people will really appreciate about this course is that it will be both playful and intellectually challenging. The history of play is complicated. People have played in all kinds of ways, some of which are controversial, let's say. So in the course, we'll be talking a lot about particular kinds of objects of play. Juggling balls, perhaps, or yo-yos. Here's an early video game. So all of these kinds of objects will be part of what we'll cover in this course. It will be expansive and, and interesting. Part of what fascinates me about play is that it changes us. When we enter the spirit of play, we often block out the surrounding world, the cares and concerns of the workaday world. And we become intensely focused on the game world that is before us. And that new self that we imagine through play can become a part of who we are in the real world. That is, play often allows us to pretend at someone we want to be, and that pretend often enables us to become fully the person that we want to be. I really look forward to meeting you for this course on a brief history of play. And again, I encourage you to bring objects to the course that have been important to you as you've grown up as someone who plays. Maybe that's a game or a toy, or maybe it's just a memory that you conjure up when you close your eyes of a child playing in the streets somewhere in the world.